peppermint. My table's a mess. Eventually, I'll straighten it up real well. But that's how I be looking when I be working. Anyway, it's okay. All right. I call in the elements of fire for love's compassion. Water for the soul's purification. Air for the flow of communication in earth to ground me in the healing protection of my ancestors, my guardian angels, the cosmic elders, and the divine feminine spirit that created us all. I call in the councils of the highest white light to make it plain, to make it plain in Christ's consciousness, Jesus' name. So let's see what's going on, y'all. Let's see what's going on. These cards are pretty big. Two of forces, the willow, is there when I split the deck. Two of forces, the willow. Okay. Let's see what we got going. 444 four, four on the clock. Uh-oh, I got the lotion in the way. 444 four, four on the clock. Okay, okay, okay. Give me some clear jumper spirit. I want to know what's going on with this gang stalking, trying to prevent me and my daughter from finding clean, safe housing, for giving us this voucher, and then it's set up for me never to use it. What is the end goal? What is happening? My housing situation has been under attack for 13 years. What's going on, spirit? Is this is this the end? Are we at the zero point? Are we at the zero point? I call in Archangel Michael to protect me and my daughter from any evil forces that's trying to keep us in poverty. That all the abundance, the spiritual inheritance shall show up as it is above, so it is below. Show me what it is. I need to know. Okay, Spirit say keep that one. Six of scrolls, the sands of time. All right, I guess that's how they're going to come out by just flying over my hand. Summer, winter, five of forces. Interesting. Remember what I the video that I did about by fall? All right. These are very powerful, very powerful tarot like oracle cards. And like I said, I like the setup, but I didn't like it being where the only thing they got available is the very first floor. And then I cannot with my disability and even put my daughter in that type of position. To be on the third floor. One of scrolls on track. You're on track, beloved. Well, what's this one hanging up over here on my arm? The Kashik Library. Now, I'm not going to divine any of this on here. I'm going to be doing this as homework behind the scenes. And then I'll be back to divine it. I'm hearing spirits say, I want to give you seven cards. Okay, I got four. Okay, booyah, Oracle of the Delphi. I knew this was going to come out. Oracle of the Delphi. Okay, is that why they coming for me? Huh, is that what, look, 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 look. The Oracle of the Delphi and the Akashic Library? Huh, what? <laughs> coming for me and my army because they in the spiritual realm you wouldn't believe what they look like I am protected by beast literally <laughs> oh okay what we got the lookout what did I just say I'm protected by beast the lookout Wow, the cards is coming out that never came out for me before. So I need one more card. 
This, ooh, this one of the Akashic field. Ooh, wow. <laughs> yes. Yes. And Spirit told me to pull from my own Oracle deck what's at the bottom, the scribe. The scribe. I hear Spirit say you got a bonus card on the bottom, so we're going to take the scribe. That will be eight. So that's my homework, that I will be divining that, discerning that, channeling through that. I love it when I get homework. Spirit's talking to me. Me and Source is, you know, we, 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 ch we chopping it up. But for some reason, I just really feel like I just really want to know who's behind it. You know, I really do. And I'm hoping I get clarity in that. Okay, where is my um, goddess of love? Did you say which oracle you told me, spirit? I'm hearing spirit say I need you to pull from the spelling oracle. Like, oh, I thought... All of these are my oracles I created, so. All right. No, this is not, this not it. This is not it. This is a totally different day. Oh, here you go. Way back here, child. These pillars in my way again. I got two stacks. Because it's getting too big to keep it as one. Two stacks of spelling oracles. So let's see how it's going to. What's so? This is how these work. This is the magic in these. As I'm divine, as I'm uh, given divine insight and guidance on which words to define and put them on a spelling oracle. Whatever is in the lesson here. Then I say nine one one. Whatever's in the lesson here will come out with these. It come out in these cards. Like whatever words, keywords will come out in these cards. What the hell? Ooh, I can't wait to get to my tropical paradise. Wow. See somebody. That's what. See. See that I want that. See. Anytime that happens. Somebody tries to, you know, I hear, I'm hearing they're trying to discourage. They're trying to, I'm hearing the word disembowel, disembowel you or me, <laughs> us, chosen ones. Earth angels, star seeds, light workers, divine teachers, life coaches, anybody that's continually trying their, you know, due diligence to stay high vibrational with love, light, healing, energy, all of all of those people, all those titles of those people. Let's see what what comes out. <clears throat> I'm just hearing spirits say that. It's some words that's going to come out for me to focus. Focus on these words. And then I'm going to see exactly which card to start with. Because usually when I do my journaling, studying, which is a psychic intuitive counseling session. Just because the cards came out like that, it's, it's telling a story. So however I'm guided to the first card to go for is this. It's all guided. It's all divinely guided. That's the beauty of the magic in communicating with the spiritual realm, with the divine. Wow. Arch enemy. AKA is arch nemesis. The main enemy of someone. The hero's most prominent and most known enemy. Wow. Arch enemy. 
Yes, I want to know who it is. Didn't I say that? And Spirit literally, and I just channeled this message that word not that long ago with these green cards like that. That pea, ugly pea green color. Yeah. Any more in this this uh section, Spirit? Antipathy, a dislike for someone induced by spirits and sometimes existing without a valid reason or a rational cause and effect. An example, why do people display such antipathy for the truth? Why do people display such antipathy for the truth? Secrets of this day and time. Wait, okay. Why do people display such antipathy for the truth seekers of this day and time? Wow, truth. The oracle of the Delphi. Wow, the scribes. Got it. Yes. Any more out of here, spirit? Any more out of here, spirit? Genocide. Wow. The the annihilation, the annihilation of a racial, ethnic, political, or religious group, or its destruction to the extent that it no longer exists as a group. Did I not say that this spiritual world, this this spiritual warfare that we're in, this stuff is making my lipstick together. This spiritual warfare that we are in is a bloodline war this is a bloodline war genocide any more in this deck spirit <laughs> music Mu and wow these were channeled together music is an intentionally organized art form whose medium is sound and silence with core elements of pitch, melody, and harmony, rhythm, meter, tempo, and articulation, dynamics, and the qualities of timber and texture. A music medium of performance, the voices, the voices, the voices, instruments, and other entities needed to perform a piece of music, the mezzo. Italian prefix that means a medium because you are a music medium. Wow. <laughs> wow, this is crazy, y'all. <laughs> I'm so grateful when I'm when I'm you know told to when I'm told to ch I channel something and I immediately put it. That's why they always told me write it down. <laughs> So Spirit said, go ahead and switch decks. I might put them together. It's such a... I'm going to put them apart. Because they're going to keep being built upon. All right, Spirit, which one's out of here? Messiah! Ooh. Woo! The Anointed One. A Savior, a Liberator of a group of people, a High Priest. Messiahs were not exclusively Jewish, however, and the concept of the Messiah as a single individual is a strictly post-biblical tradition as it is not found in the Old Testament. And I got this from Wikipedia. The anointed one because of your anointing. Wow. Any other any other words in this one, Spirit? This makes me feel so much better because I'm in my rightful, it's been happening all my life. So, you know, but it, but I promise you that it didn't get more turned up until I started showing the change on social media. My social media, um, my first channel, 
um how did i do it was it on yeah well the very first channel i created was midas touch of love but before i named it midas touch of love i was guided to name it midas touch of love it was called the progenitor of the love evolution p-o-l-e and it had to do with the poles the the dualities and so I was like, I, these, this little kid's like, do you have a YouTube channel? What's the name of it? And I was like, baby, my, my YouTube channel is a bit more mature for you. And uh, so I just decided, like, I'm going to change the name. But I never did change it until I was guided. I kept channeling that song. I got the Midas touch. Everything I touch turns to go. I'm sugar. I kept hearing that over and over. And Spirit's like, I want you to change your name of your channel to Midas Touch of Love. This is why this channel, actually, the handle is Midas Touch of Love. So, yay. Yay. So, okay. Mm. All right, Spirit. What else you got for me? I'm going to pull, pull whatever else comes out and end this video. Because I wasn't going to spend a lot of energy on this, you know. You know, I, I can't. See if any other cards come out. Conjecture. An opinion or conclusion formed on the basis of incomplete information. So it makes sense. These people have no reason to have such antipathy for you, to be your arch enemy. The antipathy means that they don't even know why they don't like you. It's your light, it's your anointing. Yes. And you're not the only one under attack. I know that. Okay? An example of conjecture is they gawked at the ability to connect to God's divine love and now they marvel over how she healed and escaped bad health, number 31, and poverty, number 37. Now, you can't tell me, my angels, Michael, Raphael, Aniel, all of them is not involved in this that I, I i i channeled this card i don't know how long ago i got i don't have no date on it i'm gonna read that again they gawked at her ability to connect to god's divine love and now they marvel over how she healed and escaped bad health number 31 and poverty number 37 mm, 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 mm. hello hello Praise be to the Most High, to the Most High Son. Make it plain, make it plain in Christ's consciousness, Jesus' name, also known as Yeshua. Yes. Concubine. Wow. <laughs> oh, spirit, y'all is messy. So. <laughs> this crazy but I'm going to read what it says in polygamous societies a woman who lives with a man but has lower status than his wife or wives so this is clearly saying these powers that want to be has been working with my arch, nemes my arch nemesis my arch enemy and he's he, oh my gosh if this ain't some quasi Rael ass shit and here's my example. Chris's concubine, which is quasi Rael, Chris's concubine, Jamise Middleton, hated the woman he secretly married. <laughs> oh, my spirit team is wickedly excellent. Now, why y'all made that one jump out? Why y'all made that one jump out? Baby. Ooh. Y'all saw that? Juxtapose. So, what does what does what does uh, juxtaposition mean? The fact of two things being seen or placed close together but with contrasting effects. So, I just got to put this out there. <laughs> Jamise Middleton 
you know, Quasi Rael's concubine, one of his concubines. Um, yeah, you can be, you will never, ever, 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 ever understand my energy, my loving energy. It ain't for you, bisexual or not. <laughs> You'll never understand my energy because I stay in my creative peace. Okay, so there's no, there's no, okay, but with contrasting effects, whatever you had with him is good for you. Move on, boo boo, because I definitely have. This is the card that came out. And the reason why this was so comical, because he was like, why can't I have more than one concubine? He literally said that to me. Quasi Ryo, also known as Christopher McNeese, literally said that to me. And he's been coming in my dreams so much and, and just trying to just infiltrate thoughts. And this shit crazy, man. And this is what's so stupid about it. Because a lot of these masculine energies, when they realized that they thought that they really was like more spiritual than you or more connected than you or you were green, you don't practice voodoo or whatever. So she won't never know what I'm doing or whatever. But baby, I'm directly connected to the God force. Okay, do you see what that says? Zero. The Pluto... Zero is, is a Pluto, ruler, Scorpio. All that was before creation. The God power is in, is in all of us. Zero symbolizes eternity, the God source before manifestation. So that's what I'm directly connected to. And this is why he didn't want to let me go. Because he know that, that that was that Midas touch of love that he, he was going to have to deal with his concubines. <laughs> Out of all the other cards, this is the only thing that literally just let me know a man is involved in this shit. These negative energies. That is constantly trying to genocide me. <laughs> okay. Telling you I said that. These masculines was not going to be cool with that. You trying to lead them behind and everything. Clear audience. That goes right with the music. The ability to clearly hear that which is that which is inaudible to those in close proximity to you, then to be capable of clearly articulating what is being heard to others through intuition. And then if, if, if they really try to just get me all bogged down where I can't hear with all the distractions and all the negativity, that's when they say turn on the music. Matter of fact, I had got a song actually... Um, I had got a song and I'm, I'm trying to remember what it was, but it was Lionel Richie. It kept playing while I was sleeping. So it makes perfect sense. Antipathy, genocide, the music medium with the clear audience. Uh-huh. And then, you know, they don't believe that you really bought this life. They really don't believe that you're the wife of the most high God. They don't believe that. They don't believe it. It's like, who cares? <laughs> They're like, exactly. That's exactly what, you, what we want you to see about it. Who cares? So don't let it stop you. Don't let any little tactics or whatever they're doing, because they ain't going to do nothing to hurt, harm, and injure a hair, even though it's falling out on your head or your daughter. Don't worry about that. In the sense of making yourself sick, not focusing on your spiritual studies and your pursuits and your creative peace. Is there any? Okay, there's one more, Spirit said. Fugazi. Because they are some fucking Fugazis. They pull in the Fugazi. Unauthentic, fake, phony, damage beyond repair. Uh-huh, someone is lying and wearing a mask. Exactly. Fugazi. Fugazi. Yeah, they trying to act like they're not trying to unalive in you, annihilate you. They're trying to act like that. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like even with Quasi YL saying, you're not going to leave me. I don't care if I'm going away from you for five or ten years. That's my pussy. I feel like this is this juxtaposition is what this is talking about. The fact of two things being seen or placed close together, but with contrasting effects. We are not in the same love, light, and healing energy. Any more spirit?
disconcerted. That's right. Feelings of uneasiness and being unsettled. That's what they're telling me. Like, yes, we know my angels, my ancestors, they're, my cosmic elders, they're telling me we know that you're disconcerted, meaning you're having feelings of uneasiness and being unsettled. But they said, when, since you were talking about quasi, we want to show you a little bit more of that who's who's behind a lot of this hateful energy being transmitted your way. It says his multiple indiscretions with crazy obsessed women has left me disconcerted. So ain't no getting no back to no giver. Ain't no getting no to back to no giver at all. Spirit, give me, give me. Okay, you said I still want you to pull pull from Goddess of Love Oracle. Okay. Okay, I didn't want to make this video too long, but okay. Let me do that. Let me do that there. Let me do that there. Wah, 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 bah, 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 bah. And I just heard Spirit saying, we're going to show you some more about what's going on behind the scenes with your channel. Okay. I'm here for it, Spirit. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. Okay. Where is my goddess of love oracle right here? Oh, that fan got my nose going. Oh, my gosh. The dirty shit that be blowing in my nostrils. I can never feel like I can breathe. Like, oh, the air conditioner making me sick. The fan is actually dirty. So, definitely, they do all of them need to be clean. And I don't want to turn that, that air conditioner on because I'm saying I was so sick the other day. which I think was actually yesterday. No, day for you, say. Lost in the lotion. My hands are dry. Oh. Between the hard water and the soap, I don't know what to do about it. Just try my best to stay moisturized. I need to put another coat of hardener. So I broke this nail. Fixed it with a tea bag repair and just got that little coloring on it so it won't be so obvious of the hump right there. Because I hate that when my nails grow back and I literally have to um, have one nail short when they all like the same length and everything. Because for some reason my right hand grow way longer. I mean, grow, fa grow long faster than my left Okay, anyway, ha, ha, ha. Can't breathe, can't breathe that fan. Oh, gosh. All right, we're going to end it with the Goddess of Love Oracle. Let me, let me, let me, let me split the deck. What we got? Level up. <laughs> it's about that time to level up, not settle down. Spirit say it's about that time to level up, beloved, not settle down. Yes, it's about this level up. That's why they coming for your. That's why they coming for your stature. They coming for your position. They coming for your, not your juggler, which they would. They coming for your. Your throne. Huh. <laughs> All right, Spirit, give me one that's going to jump out. Give me one that's going to jump out. That's why it's hard for me to do it like that. I got to do one section at a time. Wow, that's a lot. Woohoo! Y'all saw how I did that? <laughs> I'm settling for look I can't make it up 
Selling for less won't get you more. Love, honor, and respect yourself. Divine feminine or masculine. Yin yang, baby. Selling for less won't get you more. Love, honor, and respect yourself. Divine feminine or masculine. Look, how can you make it up? That them two cards come out. Okay, that's on that stick. Now let's do this stick. <laughs> Praise be to the most high sun. Shine your light on me, yes. And give me your everlasting love. I know your love will last forever. And ever, and ever. All right. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, Spirit say take them. A physical empath is someone gifted to actually feel the suffering of others. They exude supernatural compassion. Okay, so I'm definitely a physical empath. That goes without a doubt. When you choose to reject God's love and light, you opt into chaos, confusion, and darkness. When you choose to reject God's love and light, you opt into chaos, confusion, and darkness. Better choose wisely, choose right. Vanishing point. Here we go to that, that zero. Like you see what I'm saying? Spirit, what is the zero point of existence? And this is all my notes right here that I was just studying it before I decided to do this video. Vanishing point. This love affair is growing apart two people who must separate in order to elevate their conscious awareness of their twin flame union. See, I can make this not about love. Like I said, I don't consider, I know Quasi Ryo, aka Christopher McNeese, is a is a divine masculine. Like I've said that before. Michael Wayne is a, is is a is a divine masculine. But I don't either, I don't feel like either one of them is my divine masculine. Like my ascended master, adept. He's adept in knowing that he don't have to play any of these games. He's done with all that. He's he's leveled up. So okay. So okay, so anyway. I wish them the best. I'm going to always be that, that, that divine teacher, that divine all of that. But that, you know, lover, <laughs> no, I'm good on that. I got bigger, better, more abundant love coming in. So that would be all my friends. I love you guys. I love you guys. I love you guys. Until the next Psychic Intuitive Counseling Session uploads here on... The divine, infinite wisdom scenes with that Midas touch of love. Till next time, guys, stay in that cosmic wisdom. I love you. Donate. Donate. Donate.